snowing. Bits everywhere, but this is our little bed. There's the second little hut. Let's Which is cool. Loves. Welcome back to a new video. How are you all doing? I am starting the vlog from Dorset, which is very exciting. Me and Jay have just come away for a little two day break. We were meant to be doing another trip, which you guys may have heard me mention in the previous vlog. I was like, we're going to Wales and that actually got cancelled. So I did this like last minute kind of search for areas that were a little bit closer with less kind of flood warnings and weather warnings because there's lots of just flooding going on in the UK and I thought it'd be nice to come somewhere a little bit closer to home so we drove the two hours today from a very very snowy Brighton I'm going to insert some clips from Brighton now it's snowing it's Christmas my eyelashes look ridiculous <laughs> I don't think this even happened when I was in Finland I didn't wait <laughs> It's proper snowing, guys. But happy Monday. We're heading on a little staycation today. So I thought we'd take you guys along. Going oh, we're not going under a ladder. No. Bad it's luck for the year. Long trip. No, oh my God, this is my favorite part of this road. So you walk up the top of this road, guys, and there's a little white dog that just sits in the window. Okay. And we have just arrived and checked in at the Pig Hotel in Dorset and it is absolutely stunning here. We're staying at the Pig on the beach and I've always wanted to stay at the Pig Hotel and I saw when I was like looking around last minute that they had January and February kind of winter break sale deals on for two night stays. So booked this for me and Jay and we're staying here for the two nights and we've got a view literally of old Harry's rocks and it is just so stunning. The sun is kind of going down now so it's starting to get quite dark because check-in's four o'clock but we managed to check in at like half three but this is our little cabin that we're in so we've just kind of unpacked everything so bits are everywhere but this is our little bed jay's just having a chill moment after driving hello and we've got our books these are the books me and jay are going to be reading i bought my hot water bottle i've got the cute little view of the second hut so you get two huts when you're staying in the huts that they have so you get one that's the bed and you get your little setup with all your teas and coffees and a little fridge and everything and then you get a wardrobe in there which is really lovely i can never do these handles i don't know why but we just kind of put a few little hair bits and then jamie's coats in there and this is the kind of details of the hut to the other side so you have an amazing little log burner which is so lovely you've got a little mirror hello and then all the little books up there and trinket bits which are honestly adorable i feel like jamie's mum would absolutely love this stuff and then this is the view from that window so it's a really really lovely size the way they've done it is just beautiful so so lovely and really nice just like warm warm radiators as well although we of course have the fire so we could put that on and then this is the bathroom which literally has my dream <laughs> bath like i love this bath so so cool and then you've got some like old really cool details and signs in them all and then you have like the most perfect view of old harry's rocks there so stunning look at that oh it's just so lovely and then kind of around this bend you can see the gate and there's two other huts around there and then there's two other huts this side of us on the right as well but this is the most beautiful bathroom it's got the most stunning sink as well like this is just so nice it's so deep and then another mirror and really really nice toilet i'm just warming up my socks for when i get out of the bath because i was thinking i should start by having a bath in here to warm up from today and if you come out <laughs> out of here Ooh. down the little steps you've got a little post box to get newspapers in the morning in summer you can sit out on this bit then you've got the view of the beach over there there's the second little hut and then this is called the snug so when you book the huts you get two and then this is for like the chilling hangout area you can <laughs> open the doors are so heavy but this is the little snug area how cute is this it is so toasty and warm in here. I want to keep it as warm as possible, but how sweet. So yeah, this is a little sofa snug. You've got a electric heater, which we currently don't know how to work out. Just really nice little books and pictures. And you have a little bar, which do you know what? 
I actually think I might have to open this and <laughs> treat myself to it. It's a lime picante margarita. I feel like me and Jay need one of them each. So I feel like that's for two people. So we might have that. And then we might also try the vodka martini with a twist as well. And then ask for some ice potentially. But this is the view. And this is like the summer deck, which apparently in summer is amazing to sit and look at the view. And it's like a little sun spot because the trees kind of shelter either side, which is just lovely. We've actually put our bags in here because we love a log burner, but we just don't want to wash all our stuff. So we've just put them in the corner for now but I'm warming my clothes for this evening up because I thought having a warm jumper is like having a warm towel cuddle as a child again. When I was a little girl my mum used to be like India jump in the bath and I'll give you a warm towel cuddle and I used to get out and she used to always put a towel on a radiator or we used to have a dryer back then as well sometimes and she used to wrap me in it and I remember it so well like it's something that I hope one day if I ever have kids I'd love to do that with them and just have that little memory of being super snug after your bath and getting into your warm pyjamas and towel is just so good so yeah anyway I've put my PJs and my jumper on there and just wanted to give you guys a little tour I am actually here to kind of fully go off my phone for two days so I'm vlogging little things but I don't know how much I'll talk in this vlog I'm not not really sure I'm just like documenting it in a little way but I find it a lot easier to pick up my camera because it's completely disconnected from like online but I am very much just kind of going to sit and read my book this afternoon because it's four o'clock now and we don't have dinner till about seven so I'll show you guys probably when we get ready and go for dinner but I'm gonna have a bath gonna read my book and I kind of just feel like I haven't like properly like been processing my grief lately so I kind of want well I said to Jay like I just need to go away like we had this trip planned and I was like I just still need to go and have a trip because that one got cancelled so I wanted to do this just so that we had a bit of time just to relax and switch off and like make it a really really like slow eased in start to January which I feel very lucky that I get to do so yeah I'm very very lucky to be here I'm very grateful to be here and can't wait to explore this area of Dorset tomorrow because I feel like it's just absolutely beautiful and the things I've heard are amazing and we want to go to Durdle Door and go for a little walk and do the coastal pass and it's going to be so nice being out in the countryside a bit more and getting some walks in and fresh air so yeah anyway I thought I'd take you guys along and I do hope you guys are doing good and you're all well as well and yeah this is our little stay so staying in the hearts i'll let you guys know how everything is after our stay as well i'll give like a little review of how we find everything but so far this is one of the most beautiful little hearts i've ever stayed in like ever and i feel like my grandma and jamie's mom and my mom would just be in love with just the way that this has been done it's so so gorgeous so anyway bath time and book time before having dinner later on <laughs> I forgot to show you guys, but this was my peachy lush bath bomb, which is currently making the bath look the most disgusting colour on camera, but in real life it is more like pink and orange. This obviously is not great. <laughs> Very amazing. Dribbled. <laughs> <laughs> smoked orchid sour. Lovely, and I got a raspberry fiesta. Yes. Cheers. It's the morning, thanks. We are heading to breakfast, guys, and this is the view. We're in the allotment garden where they grow everything. You've got an in dive, <laughs> wild and, then, rocket. and then you've got all of, really wild rocket and all the kale. You've got all the garlic. How stunning! 
is this. Are you going to try and go out of that gate? Yep, he's going to try. <laughs> and then you've got all the men. Oh, this place is so beautiful. Best breakfast ever! It's me! It's me! <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic World. Welcome to the Jurassic Walk. Because then last night, guys, we had an amazing dinner and then it came back and Jamie was reading and I watched a bit of David Attenborough in Dorset because I wanted to see the new discovery of the fossils that they found here for, they're calling it the sea monster, but it's a ply something <laughs> Not going to be able to pronounce that. Even. What did you just say? A plysaurus or something. A pl uh, something. Possibly. Anyway. Um, we are in Jurassic, what's it called? We're in Jurassic World, Jurassic. basically. No. Because uh, all the fossils are here. There's lots of fossils in this area and this used to be under the water. A lot of these like edges of the cliffs, which I was learning about last night from David. But we had yeah, a really nice dinner last night and then I watched that. And then this morning, I've literally not been able to get out of bed. I've been in a little cocoon, haven't I? Yeah, she has an alarm on every three minutes about an hour and jay got woken up by the radio <laughs> yeah yeah i'm sorting that out what the hell is going on it with that? scared him so much alarm but mode, the bed mode. i actually found the bed so comfortable did you no alarm. Um, minus jamie overheating and freaking out halfway in the night because we left the radiator on just the whole it was an oven in here wasn't yeah it? It was i was so cozy oh, was, i was poached i loved it but did you have a nice sleep otherwise uh, yeah but the pillow um you don't is, like the pillow. is not my pillow would you like my little grey one later? No, thank you. Okay, well I bought my little grey one just in case you need it. So yeah, we're gonna it get. It was fine until I woke up. Oh. So like I'd sleep fine. I was on double pillow and I think that really helped me. Double pillow. Double pillow. Anyway, we're gonna quickly change and get ready for the day, and we're gonna go and head and do a little bit of a coastal walk to Durdle Door. So take you guys along. But breakfast, firstly, I feel like I'm sidetracking. Breakfast was amazing. Probably my favourite ever buffet I've ever been to. Like, it was my dream. You like, said it's the best breakfast in the world. That's what so you said. So far. <laughs> so far. Ever. Ever. Like, everything was local. They gave me local peas and the scrambled egg from the chickens. And it was so good. And the granola, the poached pear, the apple. I, I did a cider, a apple cider apple vinegar, vinegar shot. Vinegar and shot. I thought I was that was the end of me for today. I thought it was going to be sick. Yeah, I don't know why you did that. I thought health is wealth. Health as well, and all of that. So, anyway, gonna get layered up in the thermals, guys, because it's freezing today. So, let's go. Guys, we made it to the Lun. Can you play with this? The Low, the Lun car park. It's very windy, so I don't know if this is really gonna work <laughs> talking to the camera, but it's car park. It's just This is the view. Jay's having a cup all early. Before we've even. Yeah. Pear, sorry. Before we've even. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> The daddle. There's the daddle and there's Man of War that way. And then here is the Jurassic Coast. Is it called the daddle? Yeah, oh, daddle door. Yeah. Oh, look, we didn't shoot down there. Get oh, it. I rate it so much. Yeah, right, we're going down. Oh, there's a dog down there, can't oh. you? <laughs> One way to get Jamie to go down. <laughs> <laughs> Keep left. Oh, God. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep left on the way up, but that's up. Right. Yeah, you're going to have to. Oh, there's a water flowing. There's a... Jamie's getting distracted by dogs, guys. It's happy No, there's coming. amazing lab up there. Yeah, me and Jay are in a simulation because we wish for labs and then they oh, appear. Oh my god, they're the no, best dogs is. ever. And this is the beautiful yeah. day. Oh my god, look at him coming look, down! He's done this so many times, look, he just like... Go on, jump in. Jump in and see. Oh my god, he's coming over here! 
we're walking back to Lulworth Cove car park but realize like everyone is pretty much parked at Dirtle Door yeah. car park so I quite like the fact that this is an added little bit to the walk but it is a hill at the start and, and so once we've done this hill and we're going down the hill it's gonna be great yeah we're going down the hill now so so lovely and it's honestly the most beautiful day I think we got so lucky because the yeah. day was meant to be cloud and really windy but it's not windy, not windy. <laughs> yeah so beautiful so anyway absolutely loved that it does feel like the great ocean road in australia like very much so so if you don't want to go as far as that <laughs> i should come to dorset basically it gives the same effect in winter because i did um the great ocean road in winter and oh my god it was freezing and it is incredible but it, this does, this view here, does just give the same feel, apart from you're just missing a few extra rocks. Let's see. Oh, it's just stunning. And then I think Weymouth is round that bay, Jay. Like Weymouth is round that bay over there. It's like the other bay, the little town. Yeah. yeah maybe. Yeah. I don't know where Weymouth is on the map. Or it's like just that little bit. Coming, just letting you guys know I was correct. Weymouth. <laughs> Weymouth, over there. Another 20 minutes from Dowdle Door. I wanted to no. know. Geography is No, sorry guys, I was just saying our geography isn't great, but it's probably very windy, so we're going to head into Lulworth Cove like village and go to a little, I think maybe just for a drink or a snack or fish and chips for dinner. I don't know. Depends don't know on what, what's the time. Yeah, depends on time. We're, we're getting to one o'clock. See, it's not dinner time. Guys, look how cute it is here. I love it. Jamie's just given us a fun fact. Go on. Well, that this stream goes into the cove and gives it one of the highest cleanliness ratings in the, to bathe in. In the UK? Yeah. Which means it's the cleanest sea. Well, it's not the cleanest. Oh. But it's very high. <laughs> Okay, well, it's one of the cleanest. Um, this little village area is just the cutest thing. And there was that Labrador that we saw on the beach he's down the on Dirtledor, and now he's all the way at the end of the cliff, which I think is where the castle is. They must have done such a good um, walk. Such a good walk. They're just waggling. They look like they're having the best day ever. Their little they're shadow. Oh, they look so happy. Living their best life. Um, Jay, the robin is following us. Every time I look up, guys, there is a little robin. Where? Oh, up there. Yeah, it's the same there one. There must be so many around here. Well, it looks like the same one, that one. And robins up here, loved ones in there. Grandma? <laughs> oh. oh my god, look at it. That's so nice. Wow, he's so beautiful. You're lovely. His little, his little chest was breathing out and he was singing. <laughs> that was so nice. Um, it's dropping in temperature. Ooh, it smells of fire in there. Wow, some of these places are so lovely. Like guys, look at this little cottage. It's Mill Pond, that one's called. There's some really nice pubs as well. Um, but we were told to go to the boat shed for lunch and I would rate it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Just for your classic you panini. What it is, though. It's, oh, it's, a, it's, it's a like calf. a greasy spoon calf. But it wasn't. So that was a really one. nice fresh panini. No, yeah, no, that's not a bad thing to say. But just like, really? just, it's just expectation wise. When you say ten out of ten, I'm walking into some sort of like gold <laughs> Fine <flake> dining. <laughs> no, it was just really lovely. That no, was great. Yeah, the hot really. chocolate was nice. Uh, the chips were, were really good. Both yeah, the chips are really were good. good. Also, guys, Mediterranean tomato ketchup. Yeah. Stokes ketchup. Stokes ketchup. Whoever you are, Stokes. Yeah, really, really rate really, your ketchup. Get one. Also, look at this little house. This it's one's called made Spring, of fairies. It's called Spring House, and you can rent it as an Airbnb. It's very cute. Here's the whole of Lundworth, guys. There's the car park. There's where we walked up to the door. 
here is the little village and then there is where we went for lunch and then this is the whole bay and then this here down here is stair hole which is cool and here's the sun and then here's jamie hi say hi kids what's up <laughs> cool dad's here cool dad's here i'm fun call at the moment though Sounds like fungal, like an infection. Yeah, but I also have that, so it's both no, ways. No, you don't. <laughs> it's both ways. <laughs> no, you don't. Cover all bases. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this place is so lovely. Right, it looks like a seal. Guys, we've seen a nail. Nail the seal. Jamie's finger's kind of not really near it, but... Mm. I might uh, shut really one see. eye and he's right there. Oh, he's got a little head. There's a bird, though, very close to it, so you probably can't it's see it. There's a bird on the left. Oh, he's under. And he's up. So we've had a very chilled afternoon. Drove back and went and read off. <laughs> Sorry, Jamie was mid weeing when I started filming. I feel like that was so inappropriate for me to stop filming. But we drove back and I had a really chilled afternoon, had a coffee and read our books and hung out. And then we both came back and we both had a bath, which was so nice. Honestly, because there's no option to have a shower here, it's actually really nice being like forced to have a bath because that bath is so, so good. Lay back for once. Jamie was like, why do you not lay back in the bath? I usually sit like side on. You don't want to get your hair wet, that's why. No, not really. It was more that no, I just feel is. like I'm comfortable. No, it is, yeah. But I laid down and it was lovely. And anyway, we're heading for dinner. We were going to try and find somewhere, somewhere else. But we decided we just want to have dinner here again because we're not massively like hungry after lunch. So we're going to get loads of little starters and sides and cocktails. I mean, Jamie just gave me the look as if like to say I'm starving. So. Hungry. hungry. Um, Do you need this? Yeah, maybe the torch just in case. Okay. Anyway, any where's come? your coat? I'm going like this. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna look really cool when I'm walking in like this. You guys, it's freezing! Anyway, off we go, dinner number two. Sharing lots of little bits. Jay has just eaten, what have you just eaten? A sausage roll? No, just some of the. Um, and some salad. So we got some garden greens, salad. pea hummers and crackers, sausage rolls, fish fingers, chips, and a really nice leafy salad as well because we kind of fancy sharing those little tapas bits. Them? Yeah, go on, dip and try. Oh yeah. This is um, grown yeah, on the farm. Oh, on the farm? <gasps> it is thick. And I had the peas for breakfast, which were amazing. So we wanted to try them. really garlicky though. True. Is it nice? You're really delayed with your reactions lately. <laughs> no, no. It's a complex taste. Really? Is that your reply? It's nice. I'm trying to work out if it's got colour in it, I don't think it does. It probably does, but... Maybe a little bit. Yum. Okay, well, digging in. So guys, I got some poached pair of chocolate. Jamie got flour? a... Yeah, you can eat the flour. Um, what did you get? A posset. A blood orange posset, same as last time. <laughs> <laughs> you told me to eat that? Yeah, you can eat it. Just eat, mix it in there. I don't want to eat it now. Okay, and then we got some sorbets and we got chocolate, pear and quincey. Is, is anyway, this is my little chocolatey pitch bag. I think we're sharing most of it. Well, we're sharing <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's showing me that he's going to eventually, when he's a bit older, do my this My nan every... was an Olympic walker. So here we go. So I'm starting my own club. In when I hit my 60s, yeah. Go. Ready? Morning. <laughs> it's the waving at people that is so fun. <laughs> Oh, he's off. God, it's really fast, guys. There is a little bum. That is too funny. Oh, he's still going. Off he goes. It's on a little coastal path walk. We were going to walk all the way to Old Harry's Rocks, but I'm not going to lie, guys. It is the windiest, coldest day. I think it's like two, 
minus two. <laughs> look at me compared to you. Yeah, you look silly. It's ice cold out there. Yeah, no, basically the roads are all frozen and um, we just thought we'd go for a walk. So we've just been walking on like the fields rather than like right to the edge of the cliffs because of how windy it is. But it's really nice just walking through the trees. It's a very pretty little walk. You can walk straight from the hotel onto this path and then there's also a beach, but it looks like the sea's coming in. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I guess you'd have to look at the tide for that because it's quite a small beach called South I'm out of breath on my Olympic walking. You were going very fast. Quite tiring. I mean, it is an Olympic That's sport. a real skill. Oh, oh yeah. My nan. <laughs> Do we have a celebratory pair for our walk or not? You can have it. <laughs> We've been walking for 10 minutes. Oh dear. A guy walked past and you was know like. After a 20k or something, they give you a bit of fruit. Yeah, and in I just New did York, my 5K guys, when, walk, you, when you do your walk. 5k or 10k or 20k in New York, they give you a bagel. A plain bagel. How I'm getting a bagel and an apple. Yeah, so good. Plain bagel, though. It did look quite dry, didn't it? But maybe yeah. you could bring like a little pouch of um, cream cheese with you. Anyway. Right. Oh, anyway. Jay got laughed at by a man on his walk, so that made my day. <laughs> I look warm. You look warm, but you look like a tourist. Because you look... Oh, I'm a tourist! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, anyway, enjoying the morning sunshine. It's 9am, isn't it? It's quite early still. But it's so nice. Mm. It looks so much better in real life. Wish you guys could actually see it in real life. And look at this, guys, from my bedroom. Can you see that? It's like my own special little murmuration. What's happening? Oh my God, how incredible is that sky? Honestly, the Brighton sunsets are just out of this world. And I think that little bit there is so much pinker in real life. I think that might be my favourite sunset I've seen in, well, months. Honestly, so, so amazing. Oh, I wish you guys could see this in real life. Like, it's stunning the sky. Oh, I just love it. Anyway, I've just had the best trip, guys, and it's been so relaxing. I really don't know how much I filmed. I feel like I filmed more little clips of the walk and little snippets but me and Jay just spent a lot of time really just like snuggled up reading our books and I did a lot of journaling and it was actually really good for me to kind of process a lot of the grief I've been feeling that I haven't been able to like feel. I think it like with grief it just comes up loads of different times and you can't really control how you're going to feel it when you feel it and that's quite new for me to for it to just like arise and me be like okay, I don't really know how to navigate this. So I thought switching off would be like a nice way to like really take it slow and really just feel how I need to feel. And it definitely helped. I'm feeling like so relaxed. I'm actually tired <laughs> after doing nothing <laughs> pretty much. Like I feel, you know, when your body's like reset and it's in like a bit of a cozy kind of, yeah, like a relaxed state, I guess. I'm feeling very much like that, but I am, yeah, I'm back. Just had a really nice kind of afternoon with my dad and also doing some work because I needed to catch up a little bit before the week begins and yeah it's just been so lovely and thank you guys for coming along and being here and watching this video. I hope you're all well and just having the loveliest one and yeah I just feel very grateful for you guys and for opportunities and time out that I get to have so I feel very very lucky. I actually have a very very last minute trip happening in two days <laughs> so I literally confirmed it this morning morning and I was like oh right we're going we're going somewhere in Jan did not expect that also I feel like you guys will be pleased to know it's skiing <laughs> so loads of you were asking am I going to do skiing again in January and I didn't know if I was going to I was mood boarding that I was going to and then I was like packed my suitcase as if I was going to okay let's do it so I'm currently packing for that doing all the washes unpacking repacking and it's going to be a fun couple of days so I'm just starting my little packing for that down here and yeah I'm going to get some work done this evening before I pack and do some filming tomorrow but 
thank you for being here guys thanks for coming along i'll leave all my dorset like small recommendations down below and i would have left like a highlight on my instagram with a bit more in-depth details in terms of like recommendations that some of you guys sent in because I did like a little Q&A on my Instagram and so many of you wrote so many different areas that I thought it was best just to print screen those and put them in a highlight on my Instagram so I've done that with those and then yeah I'll put like my favorite things that we did down below and yeah thanks for being here thanks for watching this video and I will see you very soon guys lots of love Mwah. bye